This is the Game Changers Experience. Deep dive conversations with leading business disruptors, Olympic athletes, celebrities, entrepreneurs, and influencers from around the world. This show will teach you insights about the winning principles in mindset, productivity, marketing, branding, entrepreneurship, business strategy, and more. Hosted by Productivity Authority, business strategist, former elite athlete, author, and public speaker, Adam Strong. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Business Accelerator with myself, Adam Strong. Uh, today, uh, for you guys that are listening live, as I say, use the hashtag live, the hashtag replay, that'd be awesome. And also for you guys that are listening to me, um, do me a favor, as I always say to people, post, like, comment, PLC, right? Post, like, comment. And you can do that by clicking on any of the buttons below. If you have any questions, feel free to put so. You guys that are listening to this on the podcast, we'll put all the links on the uh, links below. Just read all the show notes and show description and things like that. Um, let's get straight into today because, you know, interestingly enough, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about minimum viable product or MVP for short. Now, you might have heard of MVP, right? Um, and I want to quickly share something with you really, really quickly because if you are, if you are in the, if you've just started up a business, if you are thinking of relaunching a new service or creating a new product or whatever it is, okay? What have you done in terms of groundwork and research, okay, to know whatever it is that you're launching, okay, is going to work? So that's my big question for you guys, okay? If you don't know the answer to that, okay, I want you to keep listening, all right? So what is a minimal viable product? So let me give you a really good, good example because um, I, I, I'll be honest with you, right? I, I've been an entrepreneur for the last 30 years, as you guys, guys know. And I've, and I learned more from my mistakes than I do from my wins, okay? And the best thing that you can do, especially if you're first starting out or whatever it might be, okay? The best thing that you can do, right, is to fail as quickly as you can because then you know that there is one particular avenue or strategy or whatever it is, it doesn't work, right? So the best thing to do is to fail quickly and fast right at the beginning of everything, okay? Um, because if you're in the trenches and you're much, it, it's going to hurt you a lot more in time and money. So I don't know if you've ever come to this conclusion where if you've launched a product or a service, right, but you've just launched it without really kind of having any theory behind it, it was all really just based on your assumptions. Big mistake, ladies and gents. Big, big mistake. Now, it's easy to launch a product or a service, right? But the reality is, is that most people that um, launch a product or a service, or even start up a business, right? Okay. The reality is, is that they jump to conclusions and assumptions thinking that people are going to buy it or investing it or whatever it might be without really doing the groundwork. And I've done this, right? I've done this. <laughs> I've done this on a couple of occasions. Okay. I'm sure that you guys have done it, right? Where you may have launched even a program, like, so for example, like I'm a business strategist. So we have various programs and, you know, master classes and whatever it might be. And one of the things that rather than kind of like doing the research, right? And the donkey work to, to kind of get some grounding to understand, to get some really perspective to get some perspective more than anything else. Okay. It's just to like launch it. Um, but the reality is it's the same for books, right? If you guys are, uh, thinking about launching a book, right? Book is no different from a product an MVP, right? Um, if you, if you're in the, um, if you, if you're an author or you are an aspiring author, you want to write a book or whatever it is. Okay. Is that, you know, you have this idea, you want to write the book or whatever it might be, but, there'll be one of a couple of challenges here. Number one is that you'll launch a book as fast as you can, or even if you do launch a book, but the problem is, is that there's no legacy piece behind it, right? But you don't know who's going to buy it. Why would anyone buy your book, right? Most people that, especially for new authors, they're seen as nobodies because of the amount of uh, books that come out per year. I think it's around three to five million books per year, which is a, 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 a huge amount of books that comes out. It's the same with products and services, MVP. So what's a minimal viable product? 
So it's a simple, um, if you are, let me give you another example. So we, um, I'm the uh, founder of a new business that we launched called Clean Ocean Alliance. Huge, huge, huge project. But the, but the, uh, but the philosophy behind it is that we've created a um, vessel which runs on renewable energy and will gather, collect, and recycle ocean plastic done the Thomas Lake. But what we've got to do is we've got to create a prototype or an MVP. We've got to prove for our investors that it is a investable idea that could be commercialized and also is scalable. Right? We have to prove our concept to our investors. It's the same for you guys, right? If you are looking to launch a product or a service, what is the research that you've done? What is the groundwork that you've done? Have you, and, there, and there some really good ideas here is, you know, you've, uh, have you created any quizzes or polls, maybe using LinkedIn, for example, or Typeform, or even a simple Google form, all right? You want to gather some evidence or some research to really get an understanding of, you know, is your idea, product, service, whatever it is that you have, that you'd like to launch, um, is there a market for it? So super important is to understand if there's a market for it. Um, the other thing is to understand is the pain points, right? What is the pain points it's gonna help, gonna help service those client customers and investors, right? What is it gonna do? Is it scalable, right? So I think what's important here is like, I was speaking to, who was I speaking to? Oh yeah, I was speaking to one of our clients last week actually who in the software business and I, um, and it, you know, we were, we were kind of like brainstorming some different ideas about how we can enhance his products and service. And I'm like, tell me how much, how much feedback or how much communication have you got with your current clients right now? What is it that they want? What is it that you can help them with or enhance in terms of what they're trying to get done? And it's so important to, to get that feedback from people that you're currently working with. Now, obviously, that's going to be different if you are a startup company and you don't have anyone that um, is willing to try and test it. In fact, you can. So if you've got like a, I don't know, say you're in the beauty industry, for example, okay? And I don't know, say, for example, you want to launch a skincare line, okay? And what you could do for a minimum viable product is you could create some testers, okay? And send it out to industry experts, okay? Get their opinion. Get some social proof. Get some trials going. Um, you know, if you are in the product business, for example, you can also get things like, um, you know, like trial codes, um, you know, try before you buy type of thing. There's lots of great, um, you know, car showrooms do things like that. You know, try before you buy, you know, before you buy, my, before you buy this app, in Martin, why don't you take it for a test drive over the weekend? And then, you know, and then if you like it, then we can arrange a way in which you can purchase it type of thing. So what is it that you can do to create either a prototype? What is it that you can create um, a trial? Um, what is it that you can do to create social proof or testimonials? What is it that you can do to prove that your concept, your idea, your product, your service, whatever it is that you want to launch, how can you prove to the world, to the consumers out there, that what you're creating, okay, is going to work, okay? So super important. We call it an MVP or a minimal viable product, okay? Now, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. You know, in my, in, uh, in my example, for example, we're not looking to spend huge amounts of money, okay? We, we're probably just going to like sell a tape a few things here and there together. Um, but the idea is, is, you know, it doesn't have to cost a huge amount of money uh, in order to test a concept. That's kind of like what I'm trying to get at. So for you guys that are listening, and I know we've got listeners here live, by the way, if you are listening to me live, do me a favor, uh, give us a like, share, a comment in the comment section below, okay? Or if you have any questions, uh, direct your questions in the comment section below as well. Uh, use the hashtag live, use the hashtag replay as well. Uh, for you guys that are listening in on the podcast as well, if you have any questions, um, I was going to say all the links will be below, by the way, on Minimum Viable Products, for example. Now, remember, we are here every day, 9 o'clock, Monday to Friday, UK time, okay? Uh, and also, we put the recordings up onto the podcast for you guys that have uh, missed out on those opportunities, by the way. So um, I just wanted to kind of like really delve in deep on there, you know, really de delve in deep, uh, dive you know, with regards to MVP, because I just see so many people getting it wrong. 
Um, good morning to you, Julie. Really good to see you here as well. Um, so important to do that testing, that groundwork. OK, and you can get your pricing structure correctly. You can start to articulate and you can start to um, you can start to like fine tune whatever it is that you're launching. What is there, whatever it is that you're um, looking to uh, looking to launch, you can fine tune it as you go along um, and, you know, get feedback along the way because, hey, there's no such thing as a know it all. OK, don't try to don't try to act as if you're a mind reader. Make sure that you can communicate to your to your audience or your clients or people that you work with. Ask for regular feedback. Articulate as needed. So that's enough from me on MVP today, Minimal Viable Products. If you don't know, uh, if this is the first time that you're listening to me, uh, make sure that you check out me on YouTube. You can go to YouTube. Um, the links are actually below. Click on the um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and then click on the bell notifications as well. And I'm also streaming here on LinkedIn Live. So follow me on LinkedIn. Again, use the bell notification so that you'll be able to get the notification when we go live. Anyway, listen, enough from me. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. We'll be back again here on the Business Accelerator. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Cheers.